All right, today we have the Screen Beam Mini 2 made by Action Tech. It's supposed to be a wireless display receiver. All right, I'm going to review this for you guys, unbox it and review it. It's already been opened, so I tested it myself. I just put it back in the package for purposes of this review. All right, uh, it's supposed to be compatible with tablets and smartphones, laptops, and ultrabooks. 1080p HD high definition supports 1080p and two channel stereo supports wide die ready ultra books laptop smartphones and tablets supports uh, Wi-Fi certified Miracast smartphones and tablets and compatible with devices running Windows 8.1 and up and Android 4.2 and up take note this device is not compatible with Apple devices. Mm -hmm. Let's take this little sleeve off here. You have the brand name Action Tech. All right. Oh, it's stop and read. All right. You got your customer care number here, toll free. All right. Here you have your casting casting stick your device is supposed to plug into your HDMI port on your TV this little pull tab here which lists this cover off you have your installation guide your manual here you have a which looks like an HDMI adapter to connect if it guess it can't fit in a certain spot on your TV uh, USB cord for power and a uh, a power adapter and then this must be this is the license terms and probably warranty I would assume this is regulatory and compliance notices all right and so that comes in the box now I personally like this device over Google um, the Google Chromecast because this does not require an internet connection all you have to do is plug this into your TV and uh, plug it up via the USB cord or plug it into the wall using the power adapter and if your devices um, have the capability all you have to do is connect to it and whatever is on your phone is popped up so I'm going to uh, give you guys a demonstration and give you guys my final review alright so here we are on the back of the projector and screen beam mini 2 all you have to do is plug it in just like so and to power it, all you have to do is plug in the USB cable on the side and then plug it into the USB port on your TV just like that and you're good to go. Now the situation with my projector is that with this stick in the back and when I turn it to face the screen, it hits the wall. So it comes equipped in the box, which is a good idea on them, with this adapter. So that way all I have to do is plug this into here and then plug the HDMI cord in the inside, which enables me to turn it to the side just like that. So now I'm going to show you how to set up and connect to your Screen Beam Mini 2 casting device or wireless display receiver, whichever one you want to call it. Alright, so if you're in another input on your TV or projector, in my case I'm in the Android mode on my projector, all you have to do is switch to whichever HDMI port you put the display receiver in. Alright, this is the uh, loading screen. It's going to 
So ready to connect and it's going to have the receiver name located at the bottom to help you connect. So with this device all you have to do is go to your settings and then you're going to go and tap display then you're going to scroll down until you see cast and tap cast and turn and turn it hit the slider to turn it on you're going to see the display name you're going to tap that and it's going to say connecting you now followed by the magic is about to happen and now you're connected and whatever you do on your phone it does the same so if I was to go on let's say YouTube it does the same thing Tom Brady has been missing from Patriot OTAs and most people think it's because of his unhappiness with connects. Bill Belichick now and the sound does not play through your through your device it plays through your TV or projector or surround sound projector as HDMI cables work now that's just this device if you want to disconnect just go to your settings go back to display cast and turn it off and it'll go back to the home screen now I've noticed with Samsung devices it's a little different Samsung has this feature called smart view so from the pull down may you just tap this option right here that says smart view in the corner and it's going to say connecting it's going to automatically connect because I've connected before and then it's going to connect with the tablet just like that and if you turn sideways the orientation on the screen turns sideways as well and just to connect with the Samsung smart view you just go back to the menu and select smart view again and turn it off it's just that simple so at the end of the day I feel like this is a wonderful product for people who who are constantly on their phone pay a lot of money to have a lot of data on their phones but don't necessarily watch as much TV as the next guy to pay for cable but sometimes in their spare time they might want to watch a little TV or if you have a presentation and you know there's going to be a HDMI setup I mean all you need is this the power cable in your phone you already have your phone all you have to do is carry these two in your other pocket or female in your purse and you're set you could just connect this to the projector setup at your college or, or at your job orientation and connect it through your phone and control it through your phone. This is, uh, I have with me, um, I don't watch enough TV to have cable, but I have um, YouTube on here and I have Amazon Prime Video on here. And whenever I feel like watching TV, all I have to do is uh, connect to this device and I have TV in my room on my projector, you know? Or this is this is work presentations redefined. This is Netflix and chill on the go. If you you're going to somebody's house and they don't um they don't have Netflix or they don't have Wi Fi, you have it on. If you have the app on your phone because you pay the bill, all you gotta do is connect this to their TV and stream it through Netflix. The other thing that I didn't mention that um that is possible with this is that because you're streaming through your phone let's say you're somewhere you want to watch it or um, you're up late night and it's connected you know through your TV or whatever and you know you have people sleep and they worry about the volume if you connect uh, headphones to your phone or Bluetooth um, headphones to your phone it comes through your headphones so that way you could be watching it on the TV and then be listening through your headphones because it's connected to your phone at the same time. I feel like this. I don't feel like there's a downside to this um, to this setup, and I love it all the way through and through. I have no bad reviews about this. If you put your phone in 1080p, it'll play in 1080p. 
I think it's wonderful all the way around. For, for 40 bucks that I paid for this, I think it's completely worth it.